Today we're going to learn about agriculture in the Paris Basin. Agriculture in the Paris Basin is extremely productive as there is high yields in most products produced. There is also a large variety of products in the Paris Basin to produce. Climate in the Paris Basin. The climate in the area is very good for agriculture as the summers are long which results in a long growing season. There is year round rain and few frost days which is great for growing all year round. In the Paris Basin the soils are very fertile especially in the centre where the Limon soil is most common. Lemoyne soil is a fertile stoneless soil that is easily worked by machinery and is ideal for the growth of cereals. Large farms in the Paris Basin. Most farms in the Paris Basin are over 200 acres. Most farms are owned and land is not rented. All the farmers are full-time farmers. These young farmers are more energetic and open to new ideas. They use modern techniques and they are not afraid to invest as they will more than likely be there to reap the rewards of their investments. and own the best machinery around, the latest and most modern. The farmers are well trained in how to operate all machinery. The educated workforce use the modern techniques which may include the use of technology. They use a scientific approach which in turn is more profitable. The farmers unions are well organised and are very powerful at lobbying. Uh, it is of political interest as if the farmers were to stop producing as it come to a standstill. So there is a good connection between them. Farmers in the Paris Basin specialise on one crop, one animal or even one breed. They become experts on their specialised produce. There are many mini factories that work on getting the products from the farm to the fork. There is a big market in the sale and distribution of products, for example wine and cheese. A lot of the products are self-contained. The market is very large as there are 21 million people in Paris, 60 million in France and 440 million in the EU. And with the population ever growing, there is demand for the products. The EU is good for the sale of products as there are no tariffs or taxes. There is a large market as the EU has trade agreements with the likes of the US and China. The euro is used in France and is widely used and familiar all over the world, so it's beneficial for trade. There is many means of travel and transport to and from Paris, for example airports, roads, rail and ports, and they are all very good quality. A lot of the labour is cheap, as many Arabs, North Africans and Eastern Europeans come to find work and are willing to work at low wages. As the product is high quality, a high price is warranted. The brands are safe, well known and trusted to produce high quality products. Multinational companies are able to buy a lot of these products in bulk, which makes it cheaper to buy. As a result, there is a huge production. These companies spend a lot of time and money on research and development to improve the product and the sale of it. These companies will run as efficiently as they can be. France is the most productive region in France. Intensive agriculture is done in this area to get the most out of it. There is also a lot of market gardening done in this area as well. Grapes are famously grown in France for making champagne and sparkling wine. In this area there is a lot of cereal production. Grains, wheat and barley are produced in this region all year round. Normandy is famous for its dairy. The milk produced by the cows is of top quality and very high in calcium. The dairy is used to make very popular cheeses like Brie and Cambrai. This region is also famous for its apples and horses.